for this government to allow Ken Foriata to sit in front of Ghanaians to make his proposal. It's what an Englishman will call God. And what the Yiddish will say, Huspa. You know what Huspa is? Somebody who kills his father and mother, and then he's being sentenced to death, and pleads for leniency on grounds of being an orphan. Now, who calls them? You know, this they, they say, cut your expenditure. If Ken was genuine, when the Attorney General came with this uh, legal opinion, mm. which in the Commonwealth has the force of a High Court order, he would have taken this document and gone to the IMF. If indeed it's the IMF telling him to do that, I can't do it, it's unlawful, it's unconstitutional. You know, we say cut your expenditure. Can he say, okay, let's do this program? It's badly thought out, not thought through carefully now. How do you say so? I'm saying so because it is. You know, he says short term, this debt exchange program is like a time bomb that Ken is putting under this economy. For the next 30, 40 years, we are going to suffer from it. It's a time bomb because he's squeezing billions of cities from this economy. This economy cannot grow, you know? And government instruments, T-bills and government bonds are risk-free. They've been risk-free. Since I was a child. Since I was a child. Since I was a child. I've always known that. Free. Yeah. And that is why insurance companies, uh, uh, finance companies, uh, and then banks are mandated. They don't invest in those things. Because they want to, as a matter of law. As a matter of law. Invest in it because they are risk free. Kenoforiata has the only unenviable reputation now of going down in our history as the one who declared under whose tenure? Eh? Under whose tenure? Yeah, who go down as the one who made government bonds not risk free. You go down as the only minister for finance who has led this country into bankruptcy. That's where we are. And to me, for him to be the one saying do this, do that. That's God. Look, this is not the first time. After the Second World War, the British government had dared to restructure. Every patriotic British agreed. We won't collect interest on that. They call it consul. And if my memory serves me right, the consul, the last payment of the principal, was done in about 1970 something. People were proud to have given. I would have been proud as a Ghanaian to contribute. But I will not contribute one peso. Why? To Kenoforiata, Kenoforiata leading this. He led that into the gutter. He says, let me read the concluding part of the revised statement, that on behalf of the government and the people of Ghana, I ask yeah. for your full support for this invitation to exchange and for your partnership as we carry forward our economic reform program. This is a man sincerely coming to you and saying, no. help us no. to restructure the you economy. I've said, I apologize. This is the result of economic mismanagement. I apologize to Ghanaian people. Look, they are pensioners. Pensioners who have put their resources into government bonds. You are asking them, I'm not going to pay. Look at the exchange program and think about it carefully when you are talking to your colleagues. Ken is saying, I'm not going to pay any interest on this for this year's Why is I'm Minister for Finance? Why my president is still president? But afterwards, then we are going to take a look at it. The IMF, three billion that they are going to give us. I want them to front load it so that I'll chop it before I go. Is that genuine? Are you serious that this is genuine? If the president wants Kenoforiata to continue there, this government will go down with Kenoforiata. What do you mean? I mean that we are in economic crisis. It's not easy. You saw it in Sri Lanka. Hungry people are angry people.